know, stool tests would be interesting. Some people are leaving here still eliminating stuff that's been sitting in their body for 20 or 30 years. Who knows what that might look like, right? Um, urine tests, again, I mean, you're, you know, urine, your urine is uh, pe people who are concerned about pH measure urine. Makes no sense. Your urine's a waste product. Who cares what its pH is? That's not the pH of your body, and it's not a reflection of the pH of your body. Okay, there's some relationship between the two, but that relationship is changing and dependent upon what's in your body and how actively your body's getting rid of it. So it doesn't really make sense to measure that. I'm not sure what they'd be looking for. I mean, there are certain things they. I, I made an appointment with a functional medicine doctor like, I don't know, eight, ten months ago. I see. And I paid for these tests. Right. And the instructions were don't submit the samples until you've quit caffeine. Right. And I couldn't do it until now. <laughs> and so now I'm thinking, oh, I can take the test and get some new information about what's going on inside. Yeah. Well, you know, my, my guess is that to be as accurate as possible, what you really want to do is stick to the program I'll give you for four weeks after you get home and then get it done. I think that's going to make more sense. If you do it right away, it may, you know, you may still be dumping high levels of uh, heavy metals. Which, which wouldn't have been metabol you know, wouldn't have been mobilized before, right? Um, you may still be dumping high levels of all kinds of things which were relatively safely stored away in fatty tissue. Well, no, fatty tissue stuff is usually going through the colon. Um, but, you know, the, I mean, we store stuff all over the body. So it could have been that this stuff was, was locked away, wouldn't have shown up before, would show up now, and would have them thinking that you're much worse off than you are when in fact it's showing up because your body is doing what it needs to do. Even blood tests are often misinterpreted and by, by doctors. For instance, I had a client uh, leave here, follow a perfect diet. I forget for what reason, but for some reason wanted to get some blood tests. Um, wrote to me and said, you know, my doctors say my white blood cells are too low. Okay. So this could be a problem in some situations, but why do you think there, sometimes it might not be a problem? Remember, what are the leukocytes? What are they for? What do they do? Say, say again? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're part of the, the body's immune function. Their job is to help eliminate stuff that doesn't belong there, right? To help heal the body. What, what did you say, Star? Heal. To heal. Right, so what if your body had much less of that work to do than the average person? What would you expect to see? Less. I'd expect to see fewer leukocytes. That's what happens in a healthy body. There's going to be fewer leukocytes. Doctors are not, not going to know how to interpret that because they don't see that. Most people are, are putting toxic stuff in their mouth five times a day. Their body's constantly in leukocytosis. Even if they never cut themselves or bruise themselves, their body's constantly in leukocytosis. So what, the, what, a, what medicine thinks is a normal level of leukocytes in the bloodstream is normal, but not healthy. Right, normal means typical. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information about fasting in general, we've got a playlist there. If you're interested in fasting for specific conditions, you can check out that list. If you want to hear what people experienced was in their own words, we've got a group there. And then we've got another one, which is all about optimal diet and how to maximize your health.